Hello to you all. Welcome to Module 4, Oral Language. I am Diane Barone and I'm from the University of Nevada, Reno. Our exploration centers on oral language, from how it develops to how it is supported in classrooms. In this oral language module, we will explore oral language and its critical role in literacy development. Unlike reading and writing, oral language begins with infants and how they learn to make sense of the words they hear and then how they learn to reproduce them. This module has as its primary goal to bring the importance of oral language to your awareness so that you better understand its role in literacy learning. It begins with a focus on the fundamental information about oral language. This information serves as a backdrop and helps contextualize how teachers can support oral language development in their classrooms. Other content focuses on oral language and how teachers can use this knowledge to build dialogic classrooms where students develop speaking and listening skills as they explore content. Finally, it offers strategies to encourage oral language and methods to assess students' oral language. While the expectations for oral language in classrooms may seem obvious, just engage in talking and listening. The reality of creating classrooms where student voice is used for effective engagement in learning activities is challenging. A dialogic classroom requires thoughtful and intentional instruction instruction focused on content and oral language engagement. The importance of oral language cannot be overstated. Britton emphasized that reading and writing can only develop when surrounded by or immersed in talk. He wrote, reading and writing float on a sea of talk. The oral language skills that children develop can be shaped into print literacy skills with instruction. In fact, oral language is a strong predictor of children's academic success in reading and writing in elementary school. So with this information in mind, when it makes sense to focus on building a strong understanding of oral language and ways teachers can specifically enrich their classrooms through planned oral language engagements. I encourage you to rethink what you already know about oral language. Let the ideas that you will engage with in this module allow for a more expansive view that acknowledges the importance of oral language to students' literacy learning. Finally, ponder the importance of a dialogic classroom grounded in oral communication to students as learners in general and literacy learners specifically. Time to get started.